What's up guys, it's Yvonne. In this video, I wanted to go over gradients with you. So colored gradients that you can apply on any background. So I'll show you how to do that. And um, this will help us when we also get to the animations because we can make some really cool animations with this as well. So let me just show you roughly what I mean by gradients. So this is a really basic example here. I have a gradient going from blue to red, right? In the background there. And then here, this timer, I have a background. I have a transparent uh, gradient going from red, tra transparent red, to blue, to green, okay, on this timer. So you can change it. You can do whatever you like. So let me show you what the options are, how to play around with it, what values to change, and you can do it on your own. So let's click Edit. So let me show you what I put in here. So... Uh, let me just, I'll just delete everything. Might as well. Okay. So select the picture or select the border that you want. Now, in this case, if I select this picture, I can't put a background, right? Because the picture is covering it. So it, it's going to color behind the picture. Uh, but suppose there is space, right? And you can do this on, on even text. So, so if I have text and I want space in the background, I can do that too. In this case, I'll do it here. So for example, I'll select this element, this row. I will go to settings, go to custom CSS. I'm going to put it here. And now what I'm going to say is, so again, you know, our popular uh, <clears throat> braces. Uh, I'm going to say uh, background. You can say background or you can say background image. Uh, background image is more specific. It's particular to what are you going to place there. Uh, I'm just going to say background because we're not going to change anything else. And I'm going to say, so let's start off with this one. It's called linear gradient, okay? And... Let me just put in some values. Let's say to right, red, blue. And that's what I did the first time. And so we can put, so let me start off with the basic. So this is a linear gradient. That means it goes in a line, okay? So there is a line, it's called the gradient line, uh, which we'll go over a bit later on as well. Um, and that line goes, as you can see here, to right. So it goes from left to right. It's a line, right? It can't go from top to right. It's gonna go from left to right. Uh, and it's going to go from red to blue. So these colors you can also, first of all, replace with the hex codes that, you know, um, that, that number sign and then whatever the hex code is corresponding to the number. So you can select it and you can copy it uh, and paste it here. Or you can put the RGB values, okay? And the benefit of using RGB values is that you can actually make um, the colors transparent. So first of all, let me just go over the first step here. So you can put a to right, right? If I say to left, it's going to go from right to left. If I say to top, it's going to go from bottom to top, to bottom, or, or, or you could say to top right. And now it's going to go from bottom left to bottom right. Okay, so that's one option you can do. The other option is you can actually be more specific than that, and you can actually put the degrees that you want. So the standard is... The standard is if you say red, blue, it's going to go from top to bottom, okay? So that's the basic. That's if you don't do anything. Now, suppose I put in 90 degrees. What do you think that's going to do? So take a moment. 90 degrees, okay? So what that did is that went at a 90 degree angle. So it went from red to blue, depending on which side you're looking at uh, this video, whatever 90 degrees is for you. Just, uh, you know... 90 degree angle, right? So it's 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 going to go from the middle to that outward stretch. So that's 90 degrees. So let's say, um, you know, let's make 180 degrees. That's going to go from top to bottom. So this is kind of the default setting. It's 190 degrees. Now, if I say zero degrees, it's going to go from bottom up. Okay, so play around with it. You can be really specific. You can say like, you know, 123 degrees. Uh, and it's going to be 123 degrees, okay? So somewhere maybe like down down there, okay? Uh, so that's that. So now let's go over the color. So like I said, you could use hex codes. So let me just, so suppose, you know, let's go here. Let's pick a color that we want. So let's go here. Like I said, you could use any kind of software that has these, like Photoshop, uh, PowerPoint as well. So select one of these, you know, and just copy that. So I'm going to copy this one. Let's go back to the CSS and let's replace red with that, for example. So now, as you can see, it's this orangey color that's shifting over into blue, okay? And you can do that. So that's one option. The other option, um, which I prefer, is actually using RGB. 
code. Uh, and the reason for that is because I can control my transparency. So let's go back to the previous example. And we said uh, we're going to go from red to blue. Now, suppose I wanted to go from, uh, let's say I wanted to go from a transparent red to a blue. In that case, we're going to use our RGB A code. A for alpha, that's the opacity. It's going to go from 0 to 1. So R is how much redness you have, G is how much greenness, B is how much blueness. So this is simple. We're only using red and blue. Uh, so let's say 255, that's the maximum value. I'm giving you guys a lesson on colors here too. All in one, all inclusive. <laughs> all right, so let's put zero, zero, and let's put a value for transparency. Do you want it to be a hunt? Like one would be fully visible, zero would be invisible. So between one and 100, sorry, between zero and 100 basically, what opacity do you want it to have? So let's say 0.3, okay? So don't say 30, say it's, it's, it's between zero and one really. So let's say 0.3. And I'm going to end this. And as you can see there, it's a bit more transparent. So if I do the same thing here, if I say RGBA, uh, and here I'll put 0, 0, 0.0255 because RGB, right, blue. And let's say 0.3. Now it's going to be transparent blue, okay? And you can do that. You can do these cool effects. And you can also, suppose I actually, I can make it go from um, a blue color. So let me just show you. Sure. I can make it go from a transparent blue, for example, to a full out blue. Okay, so something like that. Now, you don't have to only use two colors. You can use as many colors as you want. So that's the second thing I wanted to talk to you about. Okay, so um, suppose, so what we could do is how about this? Let's put a few more colors in here. So let's say RGBA. Let's make it just go in a blue spectrum completely. And let's say 0.75. And let's say RGBA 00255, 1. So let's do this. We're going to go from a, let's see, I need to put another. We're going to go from, um, a transparent, a really transparent blue to a really obvious and clear blue. Okay, so let me just change this to, I'll just make it two right so we can see. We can see everything. And let's see. So here, let me say, I'll make it 0.25. Here, let me make this 0.5. Uh huh, here's the thing. I put in two parentheses there. There you go. That shouldn't be there. Okay, so with this, like, keep a careful eye on your parentheses. It does get a bit messy, especially in animations. Uh, there's there's a lot of these different parentheses and these braces and we need to make sure they're in the right place okay so if something's wrong don't necessarily quit just make sure to double and triple check your code so there's that okay so what we've done here is I've made it go from a really really light blue to a really obvious blue in baby steps okay um, so you can you can do whatever you want right you get the point you can add as many colors as you want so say I make this 255 now let's say this one, I even make this one a combination of green and blue. Now it goes something like that, okay? And again, you, you, you can apply this to anything, to your text, like to the text background, or even a little clock here. Oh, I, I deleted that, but yeah, if you have a clock and you wanna make a little gradient there with maybe a border, you can do that as well. So maybe at the end of this, I'll, we'll just do that and see what's available. Now, the other thing is, um, what else? There's a few more things to this. So one is it does not have to be a linear gradient, okay? Um, so that's just one option. You could make this a, a radial gradient. And now we'll have to delete that because it doesn't make sense to have a rate to, to, to have a radius to the right, right? And so let's say circle, for example. So now what that does is that creates a circle in the middle. And here you can even see that. You can see the little circle in the middle. So instead of a gradient moving from one way to the other, you have a circle. Um, so that actually looks pretty cool. I, I like the look of that. All right. So let's say radial circle. Now you could also say circle. So if you don't want the circle in the middle, you could say circle at right. And now you have the circle on the right. As you can see, here's that circle. So that's basically where it's going to originate, right? And here our code, our first code is this one. So that's where our circle originates at the right and then it radiates 
from there, radius from there. Um, so that's that. You could also use something else, which is ellipse, which is like a little oval. And as you can see here, it's right there, right? You see that little purple thing there? That's it, okay? And it stretches, it expands outwards. So cool effect, play around with it, find what works for your website, but it is available. Now, the one other thing I also wanted to, actually two other things. Um, one is the position along the gradient line. So let's go back to something really simple. Linear gradient, let's just say two right, okay? Um, so let me, let me remove a few colors just to be able to uh, explain this and so you guys can see it a little bit easier. Okay, so I'll need another color. I mean, I'll make it like blue or something. Okay, so just so I could explain to you this part. So you could also specify percentages, okay? So you could say where along the gradient line do you want um, your kind of gradient color to begin, okay? So your gradient goes from zero to 100%. So in this case, the gradient line will start somewhere here and it will end all the way at the end, okay? Go from one side to the other, we said to right. So we have this color and we have this color. Now, what we could do is they don't have to start evenly. Our blue can start near the end and our red or whatever color this is, purplish, it could start, it doesn't have to end at 50%. It could start a bit earlier, okay? So let me show you what I mean by that. So suppose I say 25% here. Let me say blue maybe. 80%. Okay. So what I did now is I actually, and as you can see here, it's not even that even, right? There's still more blue control here. So your gradient, what it is, is it's basically, it's this little thing. Um, in this case, that, that um, has this radiating energy radiating outwards, right? It's a gradient. So when I say blue radiant 80%, that means that that line will begin at that 80% line. So here, look at this. This is, you know, e easy to count because here 25%, 50%, 75%, 100%. So your blue uh, gradient will start somewhere here. And as you can see here, it's losing the opacity slowly and slowly and slowly over here. And our, in this case, this color, whatever it is, you know what, let me just, let me just make it a uh, red starts at 25%. So our red radiant actually starts here. And because there's nothing on the left side, it's gonna keep going as a red, but over here, it's slowly losing the opacity. So suppose I even make this 10%. Now, as you can see, it's even farther down. So it's here. So if I make this, you know, one, now, as you can see that red gradient Actually, that line starts like right at the very beginning, right over there, and it slowly, you know, loses loses its its color as it moves to the right. So yes, there's still some red here, but the, that gradient line, or not the gradient line, don't 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 confuse. I mean, this color line started right over here at one percent. Um, okay, so if I do something like let me see, if I remove that, and I say blue starts at a hundred then our blue gradient will start at 100, which is what it's doing right now. Right now, it's basically by default, it starts at 100. So that won't do anything, okay? Um, but if I make it start at, for example, you know, what do you think will happen if I make this 10%? If I make it 10, it should move all the way at the 10% line of the gradient line. So our red is going to be squished to bits, okay? So there, as you can see, our gradient started at that 10%. So 10% in this case may be over here. So that's where our red blue gradient started. And as you can see, it's still shifting some colors, okay? So it's at 10% over there. And the red, you basically can't see it. So that's something you can choose to do. That's up to you. Now, this is especially useful when you're repeating your gradient. You have that option as well. So if I delete this, so here's our gradient. Now, watch what happens if I say repeating linear gradient. Nothing. Why is that? Well, because you have a gradient that goes from red to blue in an even matter, uh, filling this whole gradient line. It's 100%. It's done. There's no space for more. There's no space, no matter what you do. So what we have to do is we actually have to put the position along the gradient line 
for it to be able to continue. So as you saw, when I added that, that line stop, right, when I added that percentage, the gradient, it, it was radiating out its color, but then on one side, it just kept going in only one color. So for example, blue, we put it rating at 10%. As you saw, the whole right side was blue. Well, that's because we didn't specify any other color and it wasn't repeating. So it has nothing else to do but put the blue. Now, if I put repeating gradient and I make red 5% and I make blue 10%, now it can create this repeating pattern, okay? And that's because I specified red at 5%, I specified blue at 10%, and then they keep repeating because the blue is done now. At 10%, at, at the blue is done radiating its, its fill. So it keeps going on to the next one, all right? So that's something you can do. You can also do uh, radial linear repeat. And again, we can't say that. Let's just say circle, radial. Let me see. What did I... Uh, there we go. Oops. Radial gradient. Okay, so you can do the exact same thing here. Uh, let me just say repeating. Okay. And now this radial thing is going to repeat outwards. So if you want to hypnotize your customers, okay, this is exactly what you got to do. All right. So make sure to hypnotize them to buy your product. This is the trick of uh, affiliate marketers. All right. Is they make these repeating radial radiance and they hypnotize their clients. Just kidding. But yeah, basically you, you get the idea, right? So back here on this timer, right? Um, you do the same thing. Like we'll get this CSS info. We'll paste it up here. Let me change that. I'll just copy that down here. All right, and now that does the same thing there. So in this case, maybe pick something that is more suitable to this timer. Something in your gradient to right or whatever it is you want to do. Let me remove that. But yeah, basically you guys get the idea, right? So you can control direction you can control the color you can control the opacity if you use the RGBA color to put in there so very nice play around with it it can create some cool effects now when we do uh, animations we can also make this change of color so we can make it shift slowly from um, you know this gradient color this blue to red to make it go to eventually purple to pink or whatever it is, okay? And it's going to keep alternating and changing throughout the client's visit or stay on this website. Uh, now, if you want to create your text uh, to be a particular color, so if I want this to have a gradient to it, it's a bit more complicated. It's not as straightforward as saying, hey, text gradient linear, done. Okay, we do have to go through a little walk around, which I will show you guys in the next video. So uh, thanks for watching. If you guys have questions, comments, concerns, please leave them down below. Please subscribe. For those of you that have subscribed, thank you. I do appreciate it. And I will see you guys in the next videos.